Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be focusing on a relatively neglected aspect of the series, and that is food. Or more specifically, the consumption of food. There is no denying that there are characters in this world who take their enjoyment of food to a new extreme, and today we are going to highlight these hungry, hungry hippos. The rules for this list are fairly simple. To be considered a glutton, you must have been seen eating a large quantity of food and enjoying it. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five gluttonous characters in One Piece. Number five. Blackbeard. Let's kick things off with Mr. Cherry Pie customer himself. Now a good sign that a character is indeed a glutton is if they are mid-consumption during their official introduction into the series. And when Luffy just so happens to run into Blackbeard in a bar in Mock Town, what does he find him doing? That's right, stuffing his face with cherry pie. Things then escalated very rapidly into entering an eating war with Luffy. I say war because I don't think the word contest quite captures the pure animosity that these two felt towards each other, which almost escalated into a full on fist fight, all based on food. But it must be noted that Blackbeard is a unique type of glutton on this list, because he only really eats a lot of one type of food, that being cherry pies. In addition to this incident in Mock Town, Blackbeard can also be spotted eating pie upon pie at the Shichibukai dinner just prior to the Paramount War. He's also the only one at the table relentlessly stuffing his face, so with all of that in mind, well done Blackbeard. You've managed to eat your way to the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4. Monkey D. Luffy. All right, now we're getting serious. The gap between Blackbeard and our protagonist in terms of gluttony is a gaping chasm. Luffy, like many shonen archetypes, can and will eat into eternity if granted the opportunity. Luffy's skill when it comes to consumption allows him to almost instantaneously consume several days worth of food, making dinner time with him much more of a race than most meals really should be. Of course, for Luffy, eating also yields the benefit of instantly regaining his strength. Unfortunately, on the flip side of that is that if Luffy if he goes a certain amount of time without food, which is significantly less time than the average person experiences, he will lose most of, if not all of his strength, depending on how hungry he really is. To top it all off, Luffy has developed several eating related abilities, including being able to eat while sleeping, as well as an attack where Luffy simply tries to eat his opponents, which is generally performed on low gear users. All in all, Luffy is a pretty damn impressive glutton, and not at all surprising to see on this list. However, what is surprising is there are at least three other characters in the One Piece world who trump him in terms of gluttony. Number three, Jewelry Bonnie. Bonnie is currently one of the most mysterious figures in the entire series with a whole host of theories regarding her existence and purpose in the story, ranging from the reasonable to the crackpot. But one undeniable fact we do know about her is that she is a glutton through and through. Just like Blackbeard, Bonnie is introduced into the story consuming a pile of delicious goodies. And also like Blackbeard, she seems to favor one particular type of food, that being margarita pizza. But just as notorious pirates like Luffy have a nickname like Straw Hat, Bonnie comes with the epithet of Big E. Eater. This means that this was her defining characteristic to whichever member of the Marines or world government placed the official bounty on her head. And even though we don't know much about Bonnie, her minimal appearances thus far have not dispelled her reputation whatsoever. She is more often than not seen with a slice of pizza in her hand or mouth or both. So while her eating skills thus far haven't been shown to be as, uh, let's say, refined as Luffy's, the fact that Bonnie at this point exists purely to embody gluttony puts her that one step ahead of Luffy, at least in my mind. Number two, Wapol. All right, ladies and gentlemen, from here on in, we have entered the realm of hyper gluttony. This is a state that very few individuals in existence can achieve, and one of these ravenous mouths belongs to none other than Wapol. This man takes eating to a new extreme, courtesy of his devil fruit, the Baku Baku no Mi. This allows Wapol to eat, well, anything, and then allows him to take on the properties of his chosen meal. This can include weapons, houses, furniture, and like I said before, pretty much anything. In fact, through the use of his eating powers, this man even created a new metal known as Wapol Metal, which he used to make and sell toys, which eventually ended up earning him an absurd amount of wealth. So I mean, there you have it. This man is a true professional glutton, having made consumption his full-time job. But I'm afraid he still pales in comparison to... Number 1. Charlotte Lin Lin. Here I present to all of you 
the pinnacle of gluttony. Charlotte Lin Lin, aka Big Mom, lives pretty much purely to eat. From the age of five, Lin Lin could think of very little else except her next meal, often entering a euphoric state during the process of consumption. Like most other characters on this list, Lin Lin appears to have no real limits to how much she can eat, however she can be extraordinarily picky about her gluttonous desires. At any given time, Lin Lin is liable to enter a hunger tantrum, demanding a very specific dish, like a crockenbush for example. Just before we all shrug that off as petty, if Lin Lin's tantrum isn't subdued very shortly after its commencement, could very well result in the destruction of multiple islands, and who knows, possibly even a huge chunk of the world due to her ungodly strength. Nothing gets between Lin Lin and her meal, as she will even resort to killing her own family members should she see them as even a mild hindrance. Plus, she created a nation called Totland, which consists of various food-related locations, and Lin Lin herself lives on an area known as Whole Cake Island. Plus, when she was growing up, she ate all of her friends and her mother figure, so you know what, I think I've made my point. There is no defeating Charlotte Lin Lin when it comes to gluttony, and naturally, she sits at the apex of this list. And that pretty much does it for the top five gluttonous characters in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and please do comment with your own personal favorite gluttons. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.